So guys, what is up? Welcome to uh, Introduction to Financial Math Practice Test number one. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend that you first watch part one. And now we're going to go over question three. I encourage that you first pause this video and try to solve it before I explain to you how to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to assume that you pause the video and let's go over it. So the area, oh, what's going on here? The area of a circle with a diameter of six inches is approximately. Okay, so the area of a circle, let's first go over this. The air, well, let me, I can keep this black actually. The area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Um, I don't like just saying formulas, but for tests and things like that, it is helpful to know. Uh, and if this, and if you just memorize this formula and you don't know uh, how it's derived, I highly encourage that you um, take a look and try to derive it by yourself first, and then maybe take a look online and then see how to derive it uh, with a diameter of six inches. So this is um, a vocabulary word right here with a diameter. Let me make it orange with a diameter of six inches. So diameter is just, so if I have a circle, and if I have a line that goes from here to here, that's the diameter. Now, if I wanted to find the radius, it would just be from the center to the um, to the edge of the circle. So the radius is equal to half the diameter. So radius is equals half diameter. So the radius for this circle is going to be equal to three. So the radius equals three. And now from here, it's pretty simple. We can just plug and solve. So we have pi times three squared. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine. Times three squared, uh, times three squared, which is equal to nine pi, uh, or pi times nine, if uh, you wanna go by the way that I was writing it earlier. So normally they allow you to use calculator for these tests. If they ever change that, then just um, do 3.14, one for pi if you wanna be uh, close. 3.141 will almost always work with these problems. And yeah, we get this is equal to 28.26, 28.26. But if we look at our options, we can see that there's 28.26 inches and 28.26 inches squared. So which one is it? Well, if we're looking at the area of a circle, keyword area, it's always measured in unit squared. So this is 28.9 inches squared. So this would be option D. Now, wow, we've had D three in a row, okay. Uh, so now for question four, we have you purchase a car for $1,500. The cost for a title is 150 registration is 75 and sales tax is 8%. What is the total cost of the, for the car? Okay, so we got a lot of numbers over here. But what's important to know is that the title, the title, which is just proof of your ownership of the car and the registration, which just links the the owner of the car to the vehicle, are both not counted in your sales tax. If you're not familiar with these terms, I'm pretty sure we have a video where we discuss the cost of owning and purchasing an automobile, which you can take a look at. Um, so anyways, um, you would only have to do the sales tax on the 1,500. So you'd get 1,500 times 1.08 because you are retaining your principal plus 8%. And then you have to add on your title, which is 150, and add on your registration, which is 75. And this comes out to, uh, let's see here, 1,500 times 1.08 is 1,620. So we have 1,620. Now we have plus 150 plus 175 plus um, let's just do 150 plus 75. I don't know why I use my calculator. That's pretty obvious. It's 225. Now, if we add this together, this is equal to 1,845, which is option D. And now we've had option D four times in a row. Uh, anyways, we appear to be running out of time. So I will go through the rest in uh, part three. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful uh, and goodbye.